Hello everyone, it's me again Kiana and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my August TBR. To say that it's August is blowing my mind because school starts up again. I will officially somewhat be a senior in college. So yeah, so this month I decided to st try to stay on path with my, um, my TBR that I set I like my TBR goal that I set for myself up in the beginning of the year, but I'm going to change it up a bit. This month's TBR goal is sequels edition. I'm going to be trying my very hardest to just read sequels this month, whether it be like the second book in a series, a third book in a series, fourth, fifth, whatever. As long as it's part of a series, I'm going to read it. So let's get started with this video. The first book I have is Ravage the Dark by Tyra Sim. The first book of this is um, Scavenge the Stars, which is right over there. It was an Owl Crate January 2020, I believe. Um, I will link it somewhere on the I. We follow two characters, um, Kato and Amaya. Amaya was sold to pirate like debt collectors when she was seven years old. And when her time is coming up, she escapes. And she tries to get back to where she's from in order to find out why in the world would her parents sell her to a debt collector. There she meets Cato, who is the son of the Duke or um, Lord. It's a, like a Monte Cristo retelling the first book is. And she basically, her goal is to try to get to him, try to make him fall in love with her so that she can bring her, his father down. Absolutely love the first book. It was such a cliffhanger. That book helped me get out of my reading slump. So hopefully I will love this one. And I am expecting very, very high hopes for this. The second book I want to try to read is finally Blood and Honey by Shelby Marin. This is the second book in the Serpent and Dove um, trilogy. The third book, Gods and Monsters, just came out. In the first book, we are introduced to Lou, who is a witch, but nobody can know because witches are very outlawed. While on the run, she meets Reed, who is like this bishop who hunts down these witches and everything. And with the fight that they get into, Lou makes it public, almost that he beat her because she was like a sex worker. So they unfortunately do have to get married. He hates that because he knows something's with her and she's just hiding from her mother who's like this head witch of this coven. Um, and her mother was trying to kill her because like she has to be a sacrifice for their coven. Absolutely love the first book. I read it around this time last year, like in July of last year and absolutely loved it. This is my Fairy Lou exclusive edition. I will, of course, link that somewhere on the eye. It has black, black glitter sprayed edges. It's adorable and, and then reversible. And I'm looking forward to reading this because I love the first one. The second one people have high, uh, said high things for and the third book just came out. So hopefully I'll enjoy this one and can get the third one too. The next book I plan on reading is a middle grade and that is Winterbone Home for Mayhew and Mystery by Allie Carter. In the first book we follow a girl named April who is this orphan who has the Winterbone crest as her necklace and this just letter from her mother saying I will come back and get you. So she is brought to Winterbone Home in the first book. It's like this orphanage for kids and there she starts to learn the mysteries of the um, Gabriel who is supposed to be the only living in Winterbone. And why is he missing? Why has nobody found his body? Who would try to murder his parents? April in the first book, of course, spoilers, finds out Gabriel's alive. And she, along with the other kids in there, are trying to figure out who is trying to kill him and why they would want to, um, you know, kill him in the first place. Absolutely love the first book. It was a five out of five for me. I can't wait to read this. And it's a middle grade. I am hoping that finishes off strong. Yes. And I'm reading is, of course, Fairy Tale Volume 6 by Hiramashima. I am slowly but surely getting through all of these. This follows a guild of wizards, but we mostly focus on a couple of them. One being Lucy, who's a celestial witch, meaning she works with, like, the goddesses of the zodiac signs, like Libra, Cancer, Aquarius, Leo, stuff like that. And then we follow who one of her friends is Matsu, who is a fire wizard, and Happy, who is a flying talking cat, as they go on these missions for the guild to basically try to raise the money. Absolutely love it absolutely love the first five volumes can't wait to see what happens with this one hopefully we start to get more backstories there's about like a hundred of these so i'm not even nearly making a dent in these but i am looking forward to them and then the last book i plan on reading is a graphic novel and that is moonstruck volume three 
um, Troubled Waters by Grace Ellis and Shay Beagle. And this is just basically a graphic novel that follows this town that is nothing but um, like magical creatures, werewolves, vampires, witches, seers, stuff like that. And they like they just go through a whole bunch of stuff with different volumes like nothing ends on a cliffhanger everything is always nicely wrapped up by the end of a volume um the second one they were being held in prisons by summer fairies and winter fairies as like this ongoing like debate thing that has happened for years love the first and second one can't wait to see what the third one is as well And then I have two rolled over for my July TBR that I didn't get a chance to because of, you know, vacation. Of course, one being Arusha and the City of Gold by Rashmi Chatsky. This is the fourth and final book in the um, Pandava series. So if I get to this, it also counts for a part of my TBR. Cannot wait. And the other one I just really want to try to get to because it looks interesting. And that is Sweet and Bit uh, Bitter Magic by Adrian Tuli, which is two witches that try to get together to help save the kingdom and also save a father so looking forward to this if I can get to them which I hope I can but those are all the books I am trying to read in the month of August hopefully I can get to it I have so far read like eight books in July I believe in on the side of me two videos you guys should go check out try to post twice a week sometimes life gets in the way sometimes work gets in the way and I'll see you guys hopefully soon with another video bye guys